Yeah. Well, that's what the, they they didn't even want want to, you know, everything is available and is an option. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Bye. At least they're talking to me. I mean, the other hospital wouldn't even talk to me. Like, how does somebody speak for advocate for a patient? Like, why would you advocate, you know, was the question, really. How do you know her? Why would you spend your time helping someone that you don't get paid to help? <laughs> was the underlying question. Like, what? why are you doing this? Uh, pretty amazing. What do you any suggestions? What should I should do? Or um, when we first met, it was in the nineties, and I remember listening to these patient victim impacts stories and one of the things I learned back then and I wasn't even a nurse then I don't think I was even a phlebotomist I was just a victim my myself but one of the things I learned from hearing some of these victim impact stories is that you always need an advocate for you when you're in the hospital um, I even advocate or when you're going to your doctor for a pap smear, bring a friend with you. You don't know what's going to occur behind closed doors in that office. You don't know what's going to be said to you. You don't know what's going to occur. And I think there's safety in numbers. Advocating for somebody who's in the hospital for a friend, what you're doing right now, Doctors and hospitals need to know that there's people out there watching what they're doing and that things aren't happening behind closed doors. Things are going to be exposed when bad things happen. Well, it's, it, these are major things that are ongoing throughout the nation. This isn't ju just happening in Yakima. And uh, the people that were thrown on the street in L.A. It just didn't happen in L.A. It happens everywhere. And it takes just one person. This physician assistant, Mr. Hawk, changed everything where she's at. His attitude towards her, and he told me, because you couldn't hear the other side of, side of the call, that he had two of his family members recently die. And that has changed him, too. You know, I think all the bad things that happened to me personally as, as a patient and to my family members and then the way I was treated as a whistleblower, I mean, how else could I be? They created me. <laughs>